Hello everybody. It's wonderful to be here. I used to live in Pune a few years back. And it's such a, it was such a joy coming back to the city where I used to live in. And luckily for me, Karan brought me here safe and sound. I didn't have to do the Nakamuka run which was shown at the beginning of the program. And thanks for the wonderful introduction also. The people who introduced me did a good job. What I'm going to talk to you about today is creativity in your daily life and what creativity can do for you. Before I do that, let me show you a little bit of my work. I work in a very creative field. I'm an author, I write books. These are three of my books, which they mentioned at the start of the talk. Fortunately for me, they've all been bestsellers. I also do portraits. Let me show a bit of my work. Any fans of Jim Morrison here? Yeah. Yeah, I sat up till 3 a.m. painting this writers of Storm. I think his ghost must have visited me. This is done entirely in pencil. Kira Knightley. I work from photographs. You can see the photograph there. And I do realistic portraits from pencil. I also do surreal art. This is some of my work. I did this a couple of years back. What I do mostly now is I do paper clinic. It's an 18th century art form using strips of paper. I create paintings, I create pieces of art from rolled up strips of paper. These are my creations. This is what I did recently. So as you can see, my work is very creative in nature. So what is this creativity? You know, what, what, what exactly is creativity? When we say creative, we usually think of writers, probably people like me, artists. We think of musicians, maybe filmmakers. But what about the others? What about entrepreneurs? What about students? What about engineers, media professionals? Are they not creative? Is there no room for creativity in their lives? Is creativity only restricted to these set of people who are termed creative? I don't think so. Let's look at the definition of what creativity means. According to Britannia Encyclopedia, creativity is the ability to produce something new through imaginative skill, whether a new solution to a problem, a new method or device, a new artistic object or form. The term generally refers to a richness of ideas and originality of thinking. So the key here is richness of ideas and originality of thinking. If you take these two terms, I think creativity can be applied to anything. A gardener can be creative. Look at this, a brilliant example of creativity in gardening. A bartender can be creative when he mixes those exotic cocktails. That's a brilliant example of creativity. Even a homemaker is very creative when she does up her home in ways which you never thought possible. Dabawas, you know, the speech which he gave before me. Amazing example of creativity where those classrooms were elevated to look like local trains. That's just brilliant. When I mentioned this to a friend of mine, he's a banker, he works in an international bank. He said, all that is fine, but how can creativity help you in your daily life? He said, for you it's fine, it's your job to be creative. What about me? Yeah, how can a person like me, how can it help me? What I told him is, no matter what you do, you, there is room for creativity in your life. Say you're a student. How, how, can, how can students be creative? You know, other than making up excuses for not doing your homework, making up excuses for being late. I would like to give a small example of mnemonics, my very energetic mother served us nine pizzas. If you take the first alphabet of this sentence, you know, it stands and then expand it. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter. It's a very easy way to remember. So there you have a fantastic example of students using creativity to you know, remember stuff better, to understand the concept better for problem solving. If you are a working professional, how can you use creativity? A friend of mine works in an FMCG. What he told me was they make jams and ketchups and things like that. So what he told me was when they shifted from using glass to using perfect bottles, their company saved over two crores. You know, that is 
super baby, that's creativity in action. Take a homemaker, how can she use creativity? Presume she's cooking a nice meal for the family. And you know the recipe calls for some ingredients which she doesn't have. She uses another ingredient instead. There she is, she's using her creativity. She can use her creativity to manage her finances better, to run the home better, to do up the home better, like in the visual we saw earlier. If you are an entrepreneur, India is, India is the place to be an entrepreneur. This, you know, the ideas which come are amazing. We all know of how in Punjab, washing machines are used to churn out lassi. That's a superb example of creativity in action. A villager, he uses radials on his bulla cart, so the bulla cart goes faster. That is brilliant. That's simply brilliant. That is an example, another example of creativity. Sports people. When I was uh, preparing this slide, my daughter came up to me, she said, Ma, I can give you an example of creativity. So I told her, tell me, she said, Mother, uh, you know, she went and did a dirshan, he plays the palu scoop. That is a superb example of creativity. I said, yes, that is true, he's playing a very creative show. And my son told me, Ma, seva, he bats so creatively that the bowlers don't know how to bowl to him. I said, that is very right. In sports, people can use creativity in their lives. So no matter what you do, take any field, there is always scope for creativity. And using creativity can lead to improved quality of life, job satisfaction, increased efficiency, more money perhaps, a sense of achievement more than anything else, and personal growth. To me, creativity is everything. Creativity is growth. You know, if you are not creative, I feel that is when you stop growing. And creativity is something which can take you from here to here. Creativity is so essential in life. No matter what you do for a living, as long as you are doing something different, which is creating a positive change, you are being creative. So how do we bring creativity in our lives? Are some people naturally creative and are some people non-creative? I don't believe so. A research was done, a study was done on the IQ levels of creative people versus people who are termed non-creative. And it was found that the IQ levels are just the same. You know, creative people are in no way more intelligent than the so-called non-creative people. They are just the same. Since I work in a creative field, I have the opportunity to interact with a lot of creative individuals. And what I discovered was mostly, and most creative people will tell you this, it is no secret, mostly, you know, there are certain attitudes, there are certain things which creative people do, which perhaps non-creative, so-called non-creative. I use the term so-called because I don't believe there's anyone who is not creative. I don't believe that. But there are certain things which, you know, which creative people do, which which would probably, term, which, is, which is probably termed in the distinction of being creative. Let's just, let's just find out what these are. The first thing which I think you need for being creative is incubation time. A few years back, I used to, uh, I used to volunteer, I used to work with underprivileged children, I used to teach them English and math. And before we started the class, we had something called a thinking time. I'd like to do a small exercise with all of you. What we used to do is we used to give them questions. These questions had no right or wrong answers. So the students had to sit quietly and they had to think about these questions. There was about 10 minutes of silence given. I'd like you to do this exercise. You don't have to tell me the answers, but you can do it in your heads. These are the questions which I would like you to think about. Why do people always expect us to be good? Why? Why are the right things so difficult to do? And how do we know if the things we do are correct? If you had one, if you had special powers to grant one wish to anyone, whose wish would you like to grant and why? Well, these are questions which make you think. You know, when you think about it, when you think, when you, because in our daily life, lives are so busy, you know, we are bombarded with stimuli. We have a phone call, definitely we have that mail which is to be answered, we have our presentations to make, we have our exams to give. We don't really sit and think about these things. But what I feel is, you know, 
What I feel is the inhalation time happens only when you sit down in silence and think. For me, I have a private space where I go to incubate. Uh, but what works for me may not work for you. You might perhaps like to go for a walk. You might like to maybe get your incubation time in your shower. But I do believe that incubation is definitely necessary for an idea to sprout. An idea can later, maybe it can, maybe it could grow into something big, maybe it will be squished. But for the idea to sprout, incubation time is definitely needed. The second most important thing I would say is perseverance. What is needed is perseverance. When I talk about perseverance, an example which comes to my mind is my friend Nilia. He is a friend of mine. He is an Englishman who is based in the UK. He is an artist and he creates pictures out of dots. You can see the picture on the left. It is made up of tiny, millions and millions of tiny individual dots. You can see the finished picture on the right. He uses a 0.25 mm rotary pen to do the to do the picture. It's just nothing but dots. It's just amazing work. Now Nilia takes, he takes more than 130 hours to complete one picture. Look at this. Isn't this brilliant? It looks like a photograph. It's a self-portrait of this. And he's done it only using dots. He's, I think he must have spent over 175 hours working. So that is the kind of perseverance we are talking about. That's just brilliant. Without perseverance, there cannot be creativity. When I told a friend of mine, he asked me, really, are you, are you persevering? I said, definitely I am. It took, me, it took me two years to write my second book. Day after day, I had to go, I had to sit there, I had to write word after word, word after word, till the book was done. That is perseverance. So creativity does involve a huge amount of perseverance. The third most important quality for creativity is courage or conviction. I don't know how many of you have heard of the American artist Jackson Pollock. So, a single painting of this sold for $2 million. When he first started painting, if you look at Jackson Pollock painting, what it is, is, you know, it's just a huge canvas splattered with paints. So what he does is he spreads out this canvas on the floor and he takes buckets of paint and he splatters them. And sometimes he swings from the ceiling, he splatters paints all over it. You cannot make up anything. It's just a profusion, a riot of colors. See, the fact is when he first started it, he faced a lot of flack, he faced a lot of criticism for it. But the fact is he had the courage, he had the conviction to go forth and believe that what he did was right. If that didn't happen, he wouldn't be where he was today. I can think of several artists, Jean Miro, who I greatly admire, and agree, when they first started their work, they had to face a lot of criticism, their work was not accepted. But they had the courage to go forth, to execute what they believed in what was their passion. So courage is a very important attribute when it comes to creativity. A quote which I put, you know, to fit in here is, A ship in a harbor is very safe, but that is not what ships are for. I found this quote very inspiring. The next attribute which I would say is action. Once you have these three things in place, what is really important is to act on it. You know, your idea has incubated, you have persevered and have the courage. Now, what is the point of all this if you're not going to act on it, right? So you have to take action and execute what you first conceive. A quote again which fits very well here is, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So throw off the bow lines. Sail away from a safe harbor. Catch the trade winds in your sail. Explore, breathe, discover. This was said none other than Mark Twain. And I think these are amazing words. I think all of us should you know, frame these words and display it somewhere where we can really follow these. So as you can see, creativity is one continuous process. There's incubation, there's perseverance, there's courage, there's action. And these processes have to keep turning like a wheel in order for the creative processes to flow. That is, that is what I believe are the four you know, cornerstones of creativity. Sadly, now what happens in most schools, I feel, what happens in schools, I feel to a large extent, kill creativity. I write poetry too, and I felt very strongly about this. I would like to share a poem of mine, which I wrote some time back, which later became very popular, which kind of 
captures what I totally feel about creativity. The poem is Who Killed Imagination? I drew what my mind could see, an orange bird and a purple tree, a blue rose without any thorns, a dancing pig with crimson horns. My teacher asked me where I had seen, what I had drawn as trees are green, a dancing pig with horns that are red. She pursed her lips, she shook her head. I looked at my picture again and again. I wanted to add tears, but I added rain. What I wished was that my teacher could see, what I had just seen and let it be. Imagination and creativity were killed that day. Trees are green, roses are red, I was made to see. Though at that time I did not know. Looking back now, it's as clear as snow. So I ask you today to think a hundred times, to watch what you see and to be gentle and kind, to admire even if you don't understand. Look again, you may be opening your mind. So go forth, be unafraid, be creative, go live your life. I hope what I have to share on creativity has helped you. Thank you all for listening to me.